story to tell. Launched in the 1970s, the Iroquois class, was a class of four helicopter-guided missile destroyers of the Royal Canadian Navy. They were originally designed for anti-submarine warfare with the support of two CH-124 Sea King helicopters and other weapons. After 1990 they were refitted for air defense with standard SM-2MR Block 3A missiles. The Iroquois class includes the Iroquois, Huron, Athabascan, and Algonquin. Their design was based on the previous tribal class, keeping the basic hull design, dimensions and characteristics, but adding advanced anti-submarine warfare features such as three sonars, a helicopter flight deck, and hangarage for two license-built CH-124A Seeking anti-submarine warfare helicopters. Four destroyers of the Royal Canadian Navy were commissioned in 1972 and 1973, respectively. When completed they had a displacement of 5,100 tons, a length of 129 meters, a beam of 15 meters, and the draft was 4.42 meters. They had a complement of 258 and 30 aircrew attached to the ship's company. The Iroquois class used a two-shaft combined gas or gas system, that was powered by two Pratt & Whitney FD-4A2 gas turbines, creating 50,000 shaft horsepower, and two Pratt & Whitney FD-12AH3 cruising gas turbines, creating 7,400 shaft horsepower. This gave the destroyers a maximum speed of 29 knots, and a range of 4,500 nautical miles at 20 knots. The Iroquois class was originally equipped with one Otto Malara 127mm gun, that was capable of firing 40 rounds per minute. For anti-air defense, the ship was armed with one Mark III Rim 7 Sea Sparrow missile system. The Iroquois class had two Sea Sparrow launchers installed, each with four missiles which allowed the ship to launch eight missiles at a time for point defense. The ships carried a total of 32 missiles. The launchers were located at the forward end of the superstructure, and retracted into the deckhouse. For anti-submarine warfare, the class was also equipped with one Mark 10 Limbo anti-submarine mortar, along with two triple Mark 32 torpedo tubes in trainable mounts. The Mark 32 tubes were used to fire Mark 46 torpedoes. To enhance anti-submarine warfare capabilities, the Iroquois class was also designed with the ability to carry two CH-124 Sea King helicopters. Thanks to these two helicopters, the Iroquois class were considered excellent anti-submarine warfare warships. Iroquois-class destroyers were equipped with an LW-03 long-range warning radar antenna, and SPS-501 long-range warning radar. They were also equipped with SPQ-2D low-level air search, surface search, and navigation and M-22 fire control radars. The destroyers had SQS-501 bottom target classification sonar, and a hull-mounted SQS-505 sonar inside a 4.3 meters dome. There was also had a SQS-505 towed variable depth sonar. In 1986 the ships were revised with a Mark 41 vertical launch system. The electronics were also improved with more modern, capable systems, the process yielding ships, with much enhanced anti-aircraft and anti-submarine capabilities. The original main gun was replaced by a 76mm super rapid weapon from the same manufacturer, and is complemented by a single Mark 15 phalanx installation.
Due to their extended service lives, the Iroquois-class destroyers were used in a variety of operational roles. They serve as flagships for NATO's maritime force, deployed as part of United Nations and NATO forces in the Adriatic, Arabian, and Caribbean seas and Atlantic and Indian oceans. The destroyers also performed coastal security patrols and search and rescue missions nearer to Canada. Currently all four destroyers have been retired. The last one, the Athabascan, was retired in 2017.